Hello, hi good people. Yeah, it's a guy from uh, Benster Farm. And uh, today I'm in one of my friend's uh, kitchen garden. It's an organic kitchen garden uh, whereby he does various types of uh, crops just for his uh, personal consumption with his family. Uh, please allow me to take you through. Let's show you how a kitchen garden can look like and some of the things he's planted. Stay tuned. Uh, you can see this is uh, this is beans, uh, which are very healthy. Mm. Let's have a look. I'm sure you can see how uh, you can see how the beans have a lot of pods, and uh, huh, the big pods still growing. Just have a look at uh, the way uh, the bean plants. This is pure organic, and uh, as you can see, it's all pure organic, no use of chemicals, no herbicides, no pesticides, no nothing, just pure organic. Uh, there is some. Uh, power poultry right there and uh, of course a key apple uh, fence uh, and so all these uh, just in case uh, the rain is not around they do uh, a sprinkler irrigation kind of you can see there is a pipe running along this place uh, so they just connect it in uh, these outlets and start uh, irrigating so this is the what i'm talking about you can see there is a cow dug so it's all natural you can see the way the beans have a lot of uh, pods big pods huh. they're well fed have a look at this This is all organic, all organic. There are also some uh, bananas. I think this is tissue, uh, tissue culture. Uh, I'm not sure whether this is William, uh, Grant 9. But we can see. Uh, we are by, uh, just in case there is no rain. There's some drips passing over there, which they use to irrigate. Let's see. Mm -hmm. see the number of suckers. Mm -hmm. This is for just um, consumption and uh, maybe to sell to the neighbors and all that. There is Kunde here. Ah, not really Kunde. I'm not sure whether you remember guys from the uh, Kamaland. There is something called Kikowe. Uh, the guys uh, used to eat as a uh, boga. Uh, there is uh, some uh, tomato right there. It's coming up very well. Uh, that is an avocado tree. Avocado, 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 whatever way you pronounce it. Trees right there. Uh, I think it's a grafted one. It has different types of uh, leaves down there. They have a part. Uh, still the bananas. Uh, have a look at this. Uh, this is a uh, whole cow dug. Cow dug throughout, cow dug throughout. Mm -hmm. dug throughout so i believe in the next uh, two weeks guys will be eating these uh, will be eating these uh, beans producing uh, these are the outlets i showed you one of them back there there's an avocado tree you can see and then uh, 
some mains right here even though it's not well taken care of but i believe uh, yeah, well, the soil looks uh, uh, nutritious see all that pipe uh, that main pipe is the one i've been connected to drips which uh, irrigate which waters the bananas yeah back to where the beans are it's hmm. another what is this i'm not sure of what it is but uh if you know please do a comment on the video another banana the beans uh, you can see how healthy how green the beans are means they're satisfied having all the nutrients they want uh do we have a uh, man i only call it a uh, kokomanga Pana Margaret, man, that name is very hard. I'm not good in pronouncing it, but this is it, Kukumanga. Uh, different types of uh, trees. There's a uh, purple there, and uh, there is another plant here. Uh, I know it is uh, Mapera. I'm not sure of the English name. Um, right there there is some kunde right here these are all organic organic kunde organic all organic yeah there is cassava right there uh, there is a uh, sugar cane right there uh, i'm not sure whether you have heard about moringa uh, that is moringa right there uh, dania right here some sakasavas right there yeah. moringa uh, guys outside here have uh, organized themselves into eating healthy there's an orange tree right there pana man I'm not pronouncing that name yeah this is a well crisscrossed okay apple you can see it it's a good life fence uh there is a passion right there see how the passion is uh, fruiting have a look fruiting well this passion plant uh, the well Organized kehapo fence, life fence. I'm not sure of this uh, plant. Which one is it? I'm not sure of it. Uh, I'm not sure of that one. Maybe you can drop a comment about it. Uh, these are around uh, half an acre. Uh, there is green piece right here see i'm not sure whether uh, this thing does well in uh, makueni or machakos kambani land eh? but uh but look it's doing well it's frowning well uh, this one i must try this is green piece have a look the way it's coming up very well how this green piece and some flowers right there green piece huh okay there's something I'm, uh, which i must try in my farm yeah i'm sure i'm not good in uh, differentiating what kind of uh, green piece being planted I think I'll, uh, I'll ask and then uh, 
drop you guys a comment or down there just tell you the kind of uh, what type of green piece is this green piece are those uh, uh, piece which are used in cooking uh, stews yeah that's it it's coming up very well guys this is uh, Cumberland Machacos and it's something worth trying it's normally very uh, expensive uh, uh, that is uh, a tin of uh, 50 grams can go up to 100 shillings yeah see all these I think from that area uh, to that area that's like around uh, 20 kgs now if uh, 50 gram goes for 100 shillings 20 kgs is how, how much do your math it's something good which you can do in large scale i'm not sure of the market i'm not sure whether it's easy how easy is it uh, to plant it and to sell it to market it and all that but uh, it's something we can try in uh, Cumberland uh, the only problem is that it needs a lot of water uh, you need to water it thoroughly you need to put some good manure in it you need to take good care of of it yeah so I believe uh, if you want everything done well or you get the results good results you must uh, take good care of and uh, all this is uh, it's organic farming uh, some beautification right there I'm sure you guys like this kind of a uh, tree it's a good one still beautification uh, I'm not sure of the trees I normally hear this one called uh, it's a plant from Mombasa coastal region it's another beautiful beautiful tree yeah so guys with that uh, this was just a short uh, guys this was just a short clip of uh, some organic farming and uh, yeah you can always uh, plan to live healthy by planting your own vegetables crops fruits yeah feed them with the organically and try to use the organic uh, concussion for pesticide. So if that uh, is your guy from Benster Farm, please always subscribe for more. And I'm sure we'll get educated together and learn together as you watch. Thank you.